If you like our video, click the subscribe button to subscribe to our channel and get easy access to new content. To see our full suite of ad-free video courses and training materials, visit us at teachucomp.com. If a customer makes a prepayment or down payment for a future order in QuickBooks Online and later decides to cancel the order, you can process a refund for the received payment using a check if desired. Doing this then lets you apply the check you create to the existing customer credit to remove it. This process lets you return a payment you received that may not have involved any products or services. Also note that you can use the expense window instead of the check window to process the refund if you prefer to use that window or if the refund was cash and you don't need to create a check. The process is almost the same using either form, assuming you select Accounts Receivable AR or the specific Accounts Receivable account you used when you accepted the initial payment when creating the refund. To refund a customer prepayment or down payment by check, click the plus new button in the navigation bar and then click the check link under the vendors heading in the menu to open the check window. Select the name of the customer from the payee dropdown. Select the account from which to draw the funds from the bank account dropdown. Select the payment date from the payment date field. To print the check later, check the print later checkbox. Otherwise, enter the check number into the check number field. Like most forms, you can use the location and tags field to select a location or apply tags if those features are used in your company file. Next, in the Category Details list, select Accounts Receivable AR or the specific Accounts Receivable account you used when you accepted the initial payment from the Category column. In the Description column, enter a description for the refund if desired. Enter the amount to refund the customer into the Amount column. To print the check if needed, click the Print Check button that appears in the toolbar at the bottom of the window. Alternatively, to simply save the check, click or select a save choice from the Save and Close drop-down button in the toolbar. After creating the refund check or expense to then apply it to the customer's credit, click the plus new button in the navigation bar and then select the Receive Payment link in the menu to open the Receive Payment page. Select the name of the refunded customer from the Customer drop-down. Make sure the check or expense you just created appears and is selected in the Outstanding Transactions list. Make sure the existing customer credit also appears and is selected in the Credits list below the Outstanding Transactions list. This balances the original payment, which is now a credit, to the refund check or expense you created. Then click or select one of the Save options from the Save and Close drop-down button in the toolbar to finish and save the payment. Remember to click the subscribe button to see more of our videos. Get ad-free courses at teachucomp.com.